in honor of Mother's Day, I am wearing a nose ring instead of my usual tiny nose stud because my mom is not a fan of piercings and I wanted to prove that even as a grown ass adult, it is very fun to still irk your mother. Plus you can accessorize it with a paper clip or two or five. I think I just heard her yelling at me from 1500 miles away. Being a mom seems like a huge challenge. I mean, you have to teach kids how to be functioning humans while maintaining your own sanity. But sometimes moms don't realize that the more subtle and advertent lessons are the most impactful. I want you to think of a time where your mom influenced you positively without even realizing it. And while you're thinking, I'm gonna sing you a song that I just wrote about a time when my mom, in a moment of controlled exasperation, taught me how to keep things in perspective. And I can't sing, so this should be interesting. When I was four, little shoes I wore, my hair all full of bows. And one day I sat down and ate my lunch of plums and spaghettios. My mom just smiled down at her child and said she needed bread. So we climbed into the station wagon and down the road we sped. Each twist and turn made my stomach burn till I finally just erupted. With my lunch now sitting in my lap, here's what my mom instructed. Can't deny you wanna cry, but we're still too far from town. I'll drive home quick, but I have no towel, so for now just don't look down. Even if you bark plums and spaghetti, don't look down. Like it came out of a hose, don't look down. And the terror in you grows, don't look down. And your life has hit new lows, don't look down. Don't worry, it'll be just fine. Don't look down. Doesn't really help to whine, don't look down. You should see it as a sign. Don't look down. Some things just take some time. My surprise, I shut my eyes, just dying from the smell. Hands in the air, I could not bear that form of kitty hell. After staying zen, we were home again and changed my nasty clothes. Mom bowed her head with a look that said, hey, that's how life goes. What this defined in my little kid mind was when there's a disaster. Whining and shrieking and crying and freaking doesn't solve anything any faster. In the preschool yard, it's kinda hard to avoid crybaby drama. But after that day when stuff went wrong, I was chiller than the Dalai Lama. Even if you bark plums and spaghetti, don't look down. Like it came out of a hole, don't look down. And the terror in you grows, don't look down. And your life has hit new lows, don't look down. Don't worry, it'll be just fine, don't look down. Doesn't really help to whine, don't look down. You should see it as a sign, don't look down. Some things just take some time. I kept for how to accept adult things I've disliked Like blowing a tire at 11 at night on the New Jersey Turnpike Or when you're up late trying to make a due date on a paper you've ignored And near the end you spill a can of coke on your keyboard Or in an interview that you must pull through you rip an epic fart Or when your cat finds your favorite shirt and tears it apart can't deny you wanna cry no matter what anyone does Just take a breath and stay the course We'll be alright because Even if you bark Plums and spaghetti Don't look down Like it came out of a hole Don't look down And the terror in you grow Don't look down And your life has hit new lows Don't look down Don't worry it'll be just fine Don't look down Doesn't really help to whine Don't look down You should see it as a sign Don't look down Some Love you too, Mom. Now you can look down at the subscribe button and rib it. I mean, click it. Hey, you guys, did you think of that inadvertent lesson? I want to hear about it in the comments. And then go hug your damn mother. And then check out my other videos. Subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday.